I'm Sarah. This video shows you how to generate outbound lab and radiology requisitions in PCC EHR. Courtney came in today for her 17-year well visit and shared that she has been sexually active. Dr. Crusher wants to order some tests as a precaution. She records diagnoses in Courtney's chart and orders the lab tests. Now remember that today is a well visit, so we're selecting well visit diagnoses and lab orders as well as the special diagnoses and screenings. Now Dr. Crusher wants to create a requisition that Courtney can take to the lab. She goes to the lab order section of the chart and clicks generate requisition. The regular in-house tests that Dr. Crusher did during the well visit, so the hemoglobin and lipid panel, don't show up in the generate requisition window, but the outbound labs do. Dr. Crusher starts by selecting which facility Courtney will go to. And if she doesn't know what facility Courtney will go to, she'll just leave it blank. In this case, Courtney will go to Aloha Laboratories. Then Dr. Crusher selects the orders and diagnoses that should show up on the requisition. So you can see that the outbound lab orders are already selected, but we have all of these extra diagnoses because it's a regular well visit. So we're going to deselect the diagnoses we don't want and just leave the one we do. If the orders are for STAT or fasting labs, Dr. Crusher can indicate that. She can also indicate which phone number the lab should use when reporting STAT results. Finally, there's a spot to write additional instructions for the lab. Fortunately, these are not STAT labs um, and we don't have any additional instructions, so I'm going to deselect these fields. When all of the options have been filled out, Dr. Crusher clicks Generate. The requisition reflects the facility, orders, diagnoses, and instructions Dr. Crusher picked in the previous window. Facility, diagnoses, orders, and instructions. And it also automatically generates her signature. The document gets a title and category and it also attaches to the visit and orders it's for. Dr. Crusher can share this digital version of this lab requisition to all of Courtney's portal users, but she isn't sure if the patient's parents are aware that their daughter is sexually active. Um, so if she were to click display in portal documents, this requisition would share to all the portal user accounts associated with Courtney. Instead, Dr. Crusher opts to send Courtney a digital version uh, by adding it to a portal message. And this way she can just select just Courtney and send her a message. And she also decides to print a hard copy and hand it to Courtney right at the visit. When Dr. Crusher is done, she closes the window and returns to Courtney's chart note. She can generate another lab requisition if she needs to, or she can just move on with the visit. The Generate Requisition button works the same way for x-rays as it does for labs. Document the diagnoses in the chart. Order an x-ray. 
and click Generate Requisition. You can't pick a facility for radiology requisitions, but the other fields in this window work just like the lab requisition generator. When you're done, you can share the radiology requisition with the patient's portal users or print a hard copy. If you want to learn more about outbound lab and radiology requisitions, read Generate Outbound Lab and Radiology Requisitions in PCCEHR on learn.pcc.com. The article explains how to set up in-office lab orders so they don't show up on requisitions, how to configure custom requisitions, and more. Thanks for watching.